Hi. I'm making a video in the dark, and I'm using Photo Booth because I'm being lazy and I don't want to use iMovie. I look really sunburnt, which may be true. I had rehearsal yesterday. Um, Jackie isn't here. She had to go paint a floor all day today, which is very uncool, but had to be done, I guess. Uh, apparently, I've been recently told that more people watch my videos that I know, but probably not consistently. Um, I don't know, it slightly makes me uncomfortable, and in other ways, I just don't care. Um, I'm myself here, I cuss, I talk about being sick, I talk about pretty much all things in my life, um, rather frankly, so... I don't know if you, you know me and you watch this, I, I hope that this is an accurate rec representation of who you think I am, and um, I'm not some character that you've invented, that I'm just eventually going to disappoint you. Um, I've made like several videos trying to talk about this. I've debate debated starting an entirely different channel to deal with it. I don't really know what to really do with it because there's not really anything at the moment that I can do to change it. Um, but it's been something that's bothered me probably my whole life and it's been... The subject of gender, I've probably spent the last year heavily researching, um, and, and watching and being, becoming friends with, um, people in the trans community, specifically, um, female to male, transgender, gender queer, um, type of people, and it's been very enlightening as far as an experience, and I, I plan on continuing to um, watch um, this wonderful community of people and their videos and follow their lives um, very much in the way that I met a lot of people on YouTube when I first started and I continue to support these people, consider them friends, um, and follow their lives. So it's sort of become part of my identity in a way. Um, I have a hard time with the word queer and just personally, but I... I also understand that it's probably one of the the sort of umbrella term that I identify with the most. Uh, genderqueer as well. Um, I'm not sure if I want to go through um, hormonal transition at this point. I don't really think I'm going to be able to with my health issues. But sort of my main issue is that I don't know that I really want to be male, just as much as I don't want to be female. Um, and I know walking around without a gender is very difficult, and maybe down the road things will change. I don't know. Um, but at this point, I have been consistently read as androgynously female, and I would prefer to be read as androgynously male. And perhaps this has gotten worse since I've gotten sick, because as I put on weight, I continued to get identified more and more and more and more as female. When I was in high school, I pretty consistently could pass as being male, and I didn't mind, and I don't really care what pronouns you use. There are certain words that make me really upset um, if you call me things. Like, I don't know why, starting like the third or fourth year we, we were together, people started identifying the two of us in this relationship as ladies. Ladies is probably the worst word I can ever hear. It is really annoying. And it makes me want to look at the person and just ask them, what kind of female do you think I am? Because I must be a really, really screwed up ugly female. And ma'am. Ma'am is another one that upsets me. My students, they call me ma'am. They get the death look. Like, I... I hate it. I hate it from all the years I was in ROTC that I had to walk around and be called ma'am because I would just be happy being called sir. 
I don't know. I, I sort of subscribe to the philosophy that maybe we could just all be called the same pronoun. I don't know. I, I'm i still going through this, and so I feel like I've shared a lot with you guys anyway. And in that vein, I, I'm going to continue to share, I guess. Um, it's been bothering me for a while. It's something that bugs me every day. Getting up is uncomfortable. Going out, because going out means wearing a binder. Because I'm just that uncomfortable in my own body and my own skin. Um, it's just something that I am going to continue to deal with as I go through. Um, you know, I, I'm more than willing to go through and get chest surgery. That's something I plan on doing, amazingly enough with all the surgeries I've had, but it feels necessary, it feels important, um, to do that, um, so I don't know when it will be, it will definitely be winter or beyond, um, I don't know, it, it's, it's very complicated being in, I, again, the word lesbian doesn't really work, but being in, like, a gay relationship and, and wondering how that that process sort of changes who you're with and your partner, and I don't want to be a heterosexual couple, I mean, that's just, and I don't, just as much as I don't want to be male, so I feel like I've gone through and sort of defined what I don't want to be, and now I'm in the process of finding out what I want, um, and what's going to work for me, and what's going to work for my relationship, and What's going to calm down or eliminate would be wonderful. The dysphoria that I have. Um, it's not a new thing. Anybody that knows me, I think it, it's its a bit of a shock at first. And then from the friends that I've talked to about it, it, it sort of settles in. And it's like, oh, that makes sense because of this or that. Um, so I'm dealing with it. It is it is what it is. Um my mom kind of, I think, laughed at it because I think it's pretty, it was pretty easy to figure out me as a child. There's an entire picture frame full of multiple photographs of me dressed as a male or dressed as a boy or some kind of male job or all these photos. So it's hilarious, um, to look back and just know that it was always there. Um, so this was going on. There's a lot of stuff going on with the sick thing, too. My memory was erased, like, two days ago. Three, okay, maybe three or four days ago now. I see, can't keep track. So I'm, I am recuperating from that, and, um, busy teaching and trying to keep up with videos, and, um, trying to figure this out, and it's not the kind of thing that anybody can really necessarily fix for me instantaneously. It's sort of something that I have to grapple with and thankfully the YouTube community also has a great trans community and a great queer community of people to to watch and sort of challenge my feelings on things. So anyway, sort of trying to document this process as it goes and um I hope it helps somebody else, like I've been helped by all the other videos I've seen. I guess that's it. It's very long. I'm sorry. But it is what it is. And, um, yeah, so it goes. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.